Hello everyone, I'm Russian Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as that Russian Empire. So last time, I can't remember much of what happened, except that we went to war with Austria at the very end, and we lost quite a few guys, but you know what? That's okay. We are still at war with the Austrians, and it's our goal to really beat the living snot out of them. We're doing pretty well. Italy just wants Friuli, which isn't very much, but we want to finish this war up as fast as possible, and I believe that we cannot piece them out. We must negotiate with the enemy war leader. Oh. Oh, the Netherlands is a war leader now because they're 13th and Austria is still technically 7th, but their military score has dropped considerably. Uh, proposed peace. Yeah, we could probably just peace them out now, which is actually probably good for us. I mean, we've been taking out some of these locations, but realistically, we don't really get anything from this except a weakened Austria, which is fine. And Austria is pretty strong. They've done all the military attacks, and it's now 1900, so... Obviously, we're trying to get military directionism, which would take too long for us to do, but let's go ahead and peace out, just because we want to wait until the next Great War. And I do want to go to war still with uh, the Ottoman Empire, so. And that's all they got. That's all it literally was. Just single for Eulie. Hundreds of thousands of men have died just for a single stupid state like that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Regardless, we still got to go to war with the... Turks down here. Can you? Yeah. Oh, they might do it well down there. I was going to move these guys up, but since we don't need to, that'd be great. And can I ally with the Romanians first? Oh, I just increased my relations with them. And since we lost so many guys last time, we're going to really, really ramp up production of guys which, which we all are already working on, which is great. We want 60,000. I'm thinking let's get a little bit more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't wait till we get planes. Ten. And then get one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Even more armies, just tons and tons of armies. Uh how strong is the Ottomans? They're allied with the Dutch and the Spanish, which I really don't like. Dutch and the Spanish? Hmm. They're fifteenth. Carlos, Spain, Netherlands. If we call in our allies, they might join us. So let's get let's get some of our, some of our guys ready to go. Uh, Persia's looking okay. Civil violence intervene eventually, and I never want to forget. But uh, we probably need an army to be, stay in our capital just in case we might have potential revolts, which we've already done, which is great, which is smart, smart thing to do. <coughs> the two armies up here. You guys are recovering. Actually, just a 30,000 stack, which isn't bad. Uh, you definitely need an artillery piece. So you actually come right here. Good, good, good. How is production of these infantry beverages? Huh. This is the first time I've ever seen beverages. Or I've really noticed beverages. Oh, more organizations? Good. We're also trying to expand our naval ports so we can build bigger ships. That's probably the big thing that we need to do. Uh, beverages. Explosives, ships, zip glass. Fruits. Luxury goods. Ah, I can got some coffee here too. Some Russian coffee. I love it. Oh, there it is. Beverages. Uh, yes, Japan. Sure. Why not? Apparently the threshold for pe people liking or wanting to have an, an alliance between us changed a little earlier than a few episodes ago just because, I don't know, it's HPM. Ooh, can the Bulgarians take care of that? Let's get some military access to their lands. Uh oh, hold on. Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Oh, yeah, fascism has been discovered already. Yeah, uh, it was Württemberg last time. Who discovered fascism? They're, they're led by Socialist Party. They're not really, they don't really care for military stuff. Well, citizenship is always nice to have. So let's let you guys get in there. Oh! Alley! Very nice, very nice. More colonial points for us that we really don't need. Awesome. Oh, I guess more fort stuff as well. China is still uncivilized, and I love it. Good, maybe we can beat him up later. I don't know. Cool. Mm. Uh, oh, what's going on? Demobilizing. 
Portugal broke their laps with the UK. Austria included Baden or Baden. Oh, Krakow's but oh. But, oh no, no, we were trying to do that. Cool. Uh Jacobin rebels. Jacobins. Jack. Oh, we lost a lot of guys because of trying to make more armies. Ah, oh, but we got military directionism. That's so good. Let's grab some anti-rationalism for more research points and then mass politics. So we might be able to get Finland into our country. That's a big army. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna move you guys down here just in case. You guys are great. Build us up, build us up. And I know we are still on full military expenditure. When did we when did you break your alliance with me, Germany? Intrigue in the Russian court. While fascinated by Rasputin in the beginning, the ruling class of St. Petersburg became envious and turned against him. He had privileges no one else had. In 1901, with four, within four months, Rasputin had visited R the Romanovs four, six times. The press started a campaign against Rasputin, claiming he paid too much attention to women. Hermogen, who told Rasputin to stay away from the, the palace, repeated the rumors that Rasputin had joined the Kliesti, a sect. Iliodor, hinting that Rasputin was Alexandra's paramour, showed Merikov a satchel of letters. The letters were handed to the Tsar and Radzianko requested Rasputin to leave the capital. When the Roko Rokovstov became prime minister, he asked the Tsar permission to authorize Rasputin's exile to, to, to Bolsk, but Nicholas refused. I know Rasputin too well to believe the all tittle tattle about him. Kokovstov, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mispronouncing some of these names, offered Rasputin 200,000 rubles for him to leave the capital, but he refused. Rasputin became one of the most hated persons in Russia. Hmm. What nonsense is this? You know, let's say something must be done about it. Let's, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You know, you never know. You never know. Cool. And you guys come right there. As I'm still trying to build up another army before we go to war with the Turks, which should go okay. They have a military score of 142, so they're, they're no pushover. But then again, it's a good time to go to war with them if they have communists rising up. So. Uh, we have quite a few armies actually over here. You guys need two artillery pieces. Do you have... No. Hmm. You have two extra horses. No, give me one of them horses. Uh, if that's a case. We're gonna do that. You guys come there. And once these guys are attacked, we're gonna go to war. Right. We're gonna push hard into the Ottomans. We're gonna free the Balkans. Ooh, who are we gonna liberate? Ooh, this either the Serbs or the Greeks. Hmm. I forget. There's a button to see who has cores or what on different places. Hmm. This coffee's pretty good. I'm thinking. Ooh. The Greeks are already allied to us, but so are the S Serbs. Well, actually, the Greeks are not allied to us. We're gonna get the Romanians in here. Oh, come on, man. Ooh. Now, Serbia does have claims or cores on Bosnia. That would be great. They don't have any Montenegro, which makes sense. Southern Serbia, so we could get Serbia to get enlarged by quite a bit. Or get Greece and enlarge them quite a bit as well. And now I don't know about the Megali idea for Greece, so I'm gonna go with the Serbs first because they might be pretty good against the Austrians. So let's do that. Double check the budget, and would you look at that? We're third in the world for industry. Not high enough. Russian industry must be top tier. Well, maybe except for the the liberal Germans. Now they're fourth, which is eh, they took our place. Good for them. Ooh, and that. Composition. We can't really see. They do have guys there. That's okay. We want the Serbs. Serbia. So, who will accept? Germany, Finland, Bulgaria, Serbia, of course, Persia, France. Every, Literally everyone will accept this time. This could potentially turn into a great war, maybe? But probably not. Now this is going to be great. We're going to encourage some Arab nationalism now. So the way to truly fight the Ottoman Empire is to dismantle it from within. We must encourage their Arab minorities to rise up and seek their own destiny as independent nations that we might take over later, but we'll leave that out. Ah, very nice. The lost cities of the Incas 
Create Yugoslavia. We need to be at peace. Serbia must own more cores. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be amazing if we could make Yugoslavia. Economic reforms. Annexation of Tenutuva. Integration of Finland. I love it. Cool. Let's head on down here. Oh, Austria's got some militant socialists, but there's always been plenty of militant socialists around here. I'm actually going to... I'm going to pull you down as well. Over there. And let's head into the mountains. Eh, you can kill that group off on up. As long as they don't show up here in the mountains, we'll be okay. Oh, yeah. We have quite a few of you guys here. This is a lot of guys, so let's pull off... What is it? Eight? I'm not going to be counting. Three, six, seven, eight... Eh, yeah, pull off nine. That's good. Nine of you guys right there. Nine, nine, nine. We're going to grab ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another 60,000 stack. I love it. Go and blockade them, too. Ooh, budget-wise. We, we might as well do that. Every oh, ooh, the French said no. The French have said no, which puts me in a very weird position once this war is over and Germany wants to take out Alsace-Lorraine off of the French. Hmm. Because I, I was thinking about that before we went to war. Wow. This is really... <coughs> really not balanced, but that's okay. I'm totally okay with that. Nice. There's Romania. I'd love to have you with me. Please, Romania. Uh, Brazil's not doing well. That's okay, though. Good. Oh! Uh, we've got only five ironclads. Uh, I guess, sure, why not? We actually won the battle, nice! We won the battle. They must be using, like, really, really old ships, then. If they couldn't win there, because I'm only using ironclads. Actually, speaking of ships... Oh, nice, we can build more there. Can I build... Oh, I can't build cruisers yet. Cannot be built in this naval port. Requires level 4 or greater. We only have level... Th oh, we only have level 2. Jesus. Oh, build, 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 build. What are y'all doing? There's a lot of Germans there. Which makes sense. Uh, anywhere else? Build these ports up, boys and girls. We gonna need a big old cruiser screen fleet. Ooh. They started to mobilize. Netherlands agreed. Carlos Spain. Ooh. I hope people take you know, states off of the Ottomans, like from, not Prussia, but, uh, like, as well as Spain? Netherlands? The Dutch? Oh, don't want to forget. Port? No. Oh, Russian boat? Um, that's probably not good to see there, just go up here. Come up there, guys. Sakhalin Islands, Sakhalins. Nice. Slightly damaged, but still pretty useful. Great. I'm going to keep you guys here just to make sure that that army doesn't do anything. And if they leave, well, I mean, I'm going to take it over. I'm going to leave this part to the Serbs and other people, other Balkan peoples, because I would love Istanbul. Thank you. <laughs> they just left. All right. Uh, suppress this? Yes. Suppress anything like that. I wonder how much war score we actually need. Even the Turks can't beat up their own... Uh, this is probably going to be the end of the Tur Ottoman Empire. Because they can't even beat up their own rebels. Get Havana. Uh, the Japanese... Oh, God, the Japanese showed up. I love the Japanese. Uh, good times, my friends. Good times. Nice. Denmark. Uh, we're okay, Denmark. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I really don't want to take the Ottomans like that. Ooh. This is probably a really bad idea if I attack them, but they have no horses, perhaps. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Oh, East Galicia. Oh, hold on. Oh, we gassing them. We gassing them. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? The end... What? What the hell is that? What? What? You just... Austria just capitulated to hit the Germans immediately. That's how strong Germany must be or something, or how weak Austria is. Or both. Holy cow. Honestly, I wanted them under us. But if they're under Germany, that could be worse. 
this is gonna be a scary timeline if the Germans and me really just work together and smash people. Oh god, with gas. Oh, oh, now is the time to attack uh, other nations. We can gas them so well. We just killed 18,000 of them. I mean, it's not like the Ottomans have that much research ability to do stuff. You know, I'm pulling you guys over here so we can get rid of these guys. Let's see. Nice. Good job. Anything else around here? Yes. Take the capital. Nice. Let's see. Some general died. Finland starting to mobilize. That that was insane. Like how quickly they just fell apart. Back there. This is again be becoming just beautiful. All right, so we got this. I need you guys to take this area, but really we're gonna attack this. And if we can, oh oh, we just lost. They just lost. Oh my god. Th oh god. 4,500 versus 44,000. That's insane. I love being able to gas people. <laughs> oh, I don't think some people on this YouTube wouldn't like that, but who cares? Who cares? <clears throat> Why not just gas them? Even the Persians are attacking. You know what? Persia can take stuff. I will I will gladly give it to them. What is the war score so far? They're, they're absolutely just civilized now. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Is that it? Come on, guys. Actually, how much would it cost for me to add a war? How much would that cost? Uh, that's 52 war score. How much do we need right now? We only need 25. Oh, hell. We're going to get another one. Greece? Oh, yeah. We're going to liberate those Greek boys. We are pr the protector of the Balkans. Thank you very much. Russia is strong. Thank you. Crackdown on radicals? Um... Yeah, you might as well. This is... Oh, look, the French are here, too. Jack and Rubbles. You guys are going to take care of them. That's fine. Uh, Lubick. <clears throat> you might as well just join Germany at this point, Lubick. Uh, yeah, if I were you, I'd join Germany. You might not get everything you want, but it's better than dying. Oh, how many? Oh, we've got two armies here. Nice. Ah, oh, the Turks are trying to do stuff over here, but they're not going to be too successful. Nice. Great. We can build navies even faster. And yeah, double check down here. Oh, we're still waiting on that. That's fine. Nice. This might literally be the end of the Turks. Or the Ottomans. The Turks are going to be here, but eventually. Good. We got that. We got that. They're trying to blockade us. Whatever. Let's at least get Greece and Serbia done. Uh, Montenegro, maybe? Look at that. That's beautiful. Alright, boys. Gas them. Alright, can we piece them out with all this stuff? Not yet. Oh, we need way more war score. So let's just keep going on. You and me, let's keep going on. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pull you... Can I pull you right there? Yeah. Excelente. Just in case you guys come there too. <clears throat> Beautiful. Uh, where else? Yeah. Raqqa. There we go. Go to... Just so it's... He's, oh my god. When we just gas them, they just... There's nothing they can do. Which means I really want some gas defense <laughs> before anything gets really too bad here. Ooh. You know what? Help them out right there. We gonna need a little bit of help just because they're finding in the mountains. That'd be good. Nice. Oh, Italy's got a little bit of rebels. That's fine. The Italians are capable of doing that themselves. Come over there. Uh, so a little bit more fascist support, but not really that much. Oh, message filter. Holy cow, I did not know what that was. Cool. Awesome. Nope, oh, let's get Ankara. Ankara, Ankara. Whatever it's pronounced as. Oh, we rebels. Oh, that's a lot of guys there. That's too many guys. Stavropol. Oh, look, commies. 
Oh, even Japan's fighting them. I love having all these allies. It's so nice having allies. So nice. Ah, good. Let's let time go on. Great. Albanian lands? Sure. She had prestige. Very good, very good. America is granted military access or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Liberate? Yes. But before we click on that... So that costs 77. So we need something that's less than 20. That's 32, 30, well, that wouldn't even work. Greece, 52, of course, Serbia. Cool, let's just go and say yes. Oh my goodness, Serbia, you're looking a little pokey into the Austrians, which is great. Greece is looking fabulous right now. I did not expect them to get all of Albania as well, but you know what? That's okay with me. That's more than okay with me. So you guys are going to come there. You guys are going to come right here, which has enough supply. That's good. You guys are going to come right here. And let's put a lot of these guys right there. You come there. You come up here, just in case. You come up here. You never know what the Germans might be doing. And then, I already told you to go that way. That's good. That's really awesome. Now, I might be forgetting an army somewhere here. One, two, three, four. That should be good. But we're still making more armies here. And we can create a state. Africa? Why would we be able to create a state here? In the... Um... I'm not going to question it. I, I will gladly accept a state here. Let's see, do we have any good RGOs here, actually? Kazembe? We got tobacco. Not really. I guess if we really wanted to, we could create, like, a cannery. Nice. That's actually really awesome. Ports. Upgrading. Still militant social center. Half the country is almost filled with Russians. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Our African colonies. And that was great. Let's go ahead and lower our spending just by a little bit first. That would be probably pretty smart to do. And I don't want to forget about the guys in Asia. But first, let's double check this. You guys are looking awesome. Any, any upgrades? Any potential upgrades? I mean, we've got a lot of tobacco in Cuba. Which oh, makes sense, but... What should we do more with? Oh my god, Japan, you're... <clears throat> Suffering a little bit of a problem there, Japan. Good. And don't want to forget about these guys. You guys are important. You're very important. Ooh. Yeah, those are Japanese ships. Did I just spit on my own screen? Hopefully not. Cool, upgrading that. Oh yeah, upgrade this guy. Hmm. Another infantry dude. Han. And you also get two. There you go. Oh. Oh, I need an army here, too. That's not good. That's really not good. I need to leave an army there. Uh, Alright. Very good. Let our guys come back home. I need to put an army here in Vladivostok as well. We got coal here still. Do we have a steel factory? Yeah, we do. <clears throat> do we have explosives here? No, we don't. We need some cement, though. No, no we need fertilizer. And eh, do it anyways. It's probably not worth doing a fertilizer factory there, but that's okay. Cool. Alright, so let's divide up some of these armies. So you are looking pretty flippin' awesome. You guys come there. This state needs another army. 60,000 stack-ish. You need... Five... Five infantry. Five infantry and one artillery piece. Five infantry, one artillery piece. One, two, three, four, five. I love Russia. There you go, my friends. And let's work on lowering our infamy real quick. Because 21 and a half is quite a bit still. Let's see, you guys. I need another state there. Another good old army there as well. Great. So we've got... Let's see. Well, we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. And then get another 10 infantry from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome. Ah, forward. Um, yeah, there's definitely a bias there, but that's okay for now. 
thinking about the Balkans right now, or even just Europe in general. We're gonna have to make sure that we have a massive army here. Maybe not too much. I still want a big old army here in Asia. It's always good to have one. Hmm. I guess you can come there, and that's it for Asia for now. We gotta really focus more on Europe, because Austria is gonna be a big problem, but without Ruthenia, they lost quite a bit of coal over here. Uh, yeah, Greece, that's fine. Yeah, you better ally me, Greece. You better flip an ally me. So, Serbia is good. Uh, Greece, you are my puppet as well. And Bulgaria, you're also... Oh, let's keep that high. Because we are the protector of the Balkans right now. And Romania. Come, Romania. We flipped you. So that you would like us. Come on, man. Actually, let's look at the Sphere of... Oh, that is so nice. The NGF. Oh, that's actually Bavaria. Now they need Baden, of course. They have German pan nationalists, which is really good. France is Belgium. And Spain. That's kind of scary. Italy is <laughs> by itself, but look at that. I love... I, I love how much we own of the Balkans now. That's just beautiful. You know what? Oh! Serbian Patriots? Serbian Patriots? You know what, Montenegro? You know, let's get in the lines with you. Just so that next time we beat up the Balkans, or beat up the Ottomans, we get you too. Oh, I forgot about you. Uh, no... Oh, I don't forget about them. They are just misplaced for now. Oh, you guys go home too. Just a beautiful thing. Oh, Shanghai. Oh, Shanghai infantry. Yeah, good. Come on, Ottomans. You gotta re do stuff. You gotta do stuff. Good. You just hurt a little bit. No thanks, Denmark. The Germans might take you out, so I don't want to mess with them. Oh, Korea's here in Busan. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Nice. State. Sure. Oh, we can build a steel mill here. That'd be great. That would be amazing. Zambia. There's quite a bit of steel and tobacco. I love it. Actually, with this, cotton. There's a holy. How many Russians live there? Cotton. Uh, can we make some clothes factories? Well, you're going to need some textiles, probably. Yeah, let's get that. That's a lot of Russians here. Look at that. 81% Russian. Well, let's check out culture. I mean, obviously Africa's a giant flipping mess. Oh, there's quite a bit of Russians up here, too. That's really awesome. We are rusifying Africa. Even this part of Russia. I mean, there's not that many people here, obviously. But... Holy cow. Russian Africa? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And before we forget, National Focus is, uh, you guys are looking pretty good. You still need a little bit more time. <clears throat> Hispaniola and Cuba. I'm trying to make them a little bit more conservative. Maybe we can make them more liberal, because that actually might be good for us, just because we can get more reforms. But I think if you do a conservative, you might be able to do stuff. It's probably a waste of time doing that, but whatever. Uh, good. One more bureaucrats. Haiti takes forever for that. Ah, uh, more research points. Great. We're almost... Oh, we have craftsmen there, which is actually really, really good. Uh, let's take a good look at West Galicia. Let's build up any more factories that need building up. Moscow. We still have a little bit more room. Oh, build that up. Good, 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 good. West Galicia. Let's see. Oh, we just, they have no capitalists there. That's interesting. Uh, but that's okay. We still need way more craftsmen here. Cool. And I know we've barely gotten in time in this game already, but let's grab the Doctrine of Fascism. <laughs> oh, the police state. That's I love the police state. Yeah, let's get another focus. Yeah, so you guys looking pretty darn... You're getting better. Oh, LA is done, obviously. Administrative stuffies. It's Caitlin Islands, huh? You can have a beer crowd or two. It's nice, yeah. That's not looking good. Futurism, awesome. Ooh, even the Baltic Duchy, or the former territories of the United Baltic Duchy need some help. Azerbaijani, Armenian. Hmm, I'm feeling pretty good about this stuff. Let's look at our armies real quick. You guys are looking not bad, actually. Do you have a horse? Yeah, you do have a horse. And an engineer. Great. So now we're going to need four more artillery pieces here. Let's build it. Four more. One, two, four. That's great. Build them right here. Uh, 
Oh, build up that naval base. Yeah. Uh, actually, speaking of naval bases, more army, army supply consumption. That's fine. <clears throat> so my question is: Ooh, black shirts. Emerging fascist party. One of our states has formed a paramilitary corps, organized with a military command chain, ideologically coherent and ready to do the bidding of the fascist party leaders. The group is colloquially known as, referred to as the Black Shirts from the iconic militaresque shirts they've taken to wearing. This trend is new to the Russian politics, and some fear that might lead to chain reaction and with other parties forming military organizations of their own. Um. Ooh, I don't want more population militants. Ooh, but ah. You're gonna get more militancy regardless. Ooh, I did not like that. Russian Patriots? Good. 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 Get mass politics done. Research. Good. And of course, militant social socialists have risen up. But we should have enough guys to take care of them. Let's go ahead and raise this for now for military spending. God dang it. God dang it. Just for now, so that. Ooh, middle class needs some help. I can't really help you that much, middle class. I already put the taxes as low as I pretty much possibly can. Who or why can you not get your goods? Look at population-wise. So, a lot of you guys are... Some of you guys are labor, some of you guys are farmers. Unemployment, 100%. And you are where? Oh. Looks like... Uh, I don't know. Of life needs? Yeah, we'll host the third Olympic Games, yes. Ah, look at our population. 80% of us can't... Oh, Bolshevik party's been formed. Uh-oh. Menshevik, okay. Social Democratic is now defunct, which was the early revolutionary communist party, I believe. Interesting. Oh, don't forget about this. Yes, expand, expand. Please expand faster. We are lacking in naval stuff. Do we have another port up here somewhere? Forts, I love it. Katsamo. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about that too much. Just let our population explode for now, that'd be great. We can look at more army building, maybe? Hainan. Oh, crap. Well, I'm glad I got you guys here. Come down there. We're at peace. It's great. I love being at peace sometimes. And we got this. Oh! Oh! Well! Germany! Now you, you might actually do well here. Since, since you have Ruthenia, Sweden, and NGF, versus Austria and the Netherlands. The Netherlands isn't probably going to do great. They might do okay, actually. But. The Austrians, without Ruthenia, they're already weakened, and of course, last time I did smack the crap out of them. Well, they didn't—they weren't fully defeated, of course, but uh, you never know. Oh, actually, this is a state. This is as iron. Maybe get a steel mill down here. And what else do we have here? Coffee, a sulfur. Oh, sulfur. Let's get some explosives. Uh, explosives factories. Oh, actually, let's get some fertilizer, and then get some explosives. Nice. Uh, I guess. Let's see. Oh, 120 score versus 243. We'll see what happens. Nice. Battle of Hainan. Yeah, we should really build up something here. Infantry. E. Good. Go back to Vladivostok. You never know. I could justify on China, but like I said, I want to lower my infamy. Unless it's like free. But it's definitely not going to be free. Yeah. We still have a truce with them, anyways. So. That's 1903. Alright. Well, looks like the Germans are. German. Militant socialists. That's cool. Wurttemberg. Oh, Wurttemberg just gave up. <laughs> they became part of Germany. What? No. Oh, that. I've never seen that happen. That's amazing. That is. Okay, the German Empire's here. They just smacked the hell out of the Austrians, or just amazing. They even formed it without getting Alsace Lorraine, which is quite interesting. Oh, now Germany's here. Oh, my goodness. You know, they're seventh in military power, which isn't great. They, they, they surpassed us in uh, industrial score, but that's okay. The professor. Uh, get rid of the worst troublemakers, that's fine. So right now, ooh, chaos in Russian north. You see it. Chaos? I don't like chaos. Oh. There you go. 
That's all we needed to do. Uh, how's Port Arthur doing? They're doing pretty well. They got lumber. Can either like a lumber mill or something? Oh, we already have a sawmill. That's good. Can we build some furniture, maybe? I like furniture. About time. Order restored? Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to rebel. Yeah, that was a fast war. Hegemony? That was fast. Now with a fully formed Germany here, we might do pretty darn well against anyone that fights them. Now, their military score isn't great, but hopefully they'll be improving themselves. They're not as good... Okay, maybe they're really not as good as uh, the French. The French are still pretty darn strong. Austrians obviously are not. The Italians are doing okay, but now we can integrate Finland. Uh, I'm not going to read all this, but if you would like to, I'm going to let you go ahead and read it. Of course, if you did pause it, so... What are we going to do? We gain one infamy, and... Nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, I love Finland. I love the Finns. Let's rucify the place. Ooh. Can I build any more ports here? Nice. Karelia. I love it. Ah, Tarku. Culture-wise, there's not that many Finns. Oh, actually. Sphere of Influence stuff. German Empire, France. Oh, France. France even has Switzerland. That's interesting. I'm going to need another arm here, though. And... Oh! Well, that's not good. I'm glad I looked over here. Oh, we're going to need a ship, so... Thank you. Ooh, we need more ships than that. Um, hmm. Actually, we do have this oh, modifier on. Where did I put my ships to come to? No, it wasn't there. I think it might have been St. Petersburg. Let's do that. Good. Good. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to get rid of these guys eventually. Let's do that. Build some more troop transport as well. I don't think I can build troop... Nope, can't build troop transports there. That's fine. Let's make this a state. Great. Lumber. It's not bad. Uh, wood. Can I make a sawmill? Yeah. Give these guys something there. Great. And we can form Turkestan. So, the various cultures of Central Asia would better serve us if they were united as one nation. The fledging nationalism of these peoples, oftentimes part of nomadic tribes, is something of a recent small phenomenon. Therefore, the people shouldn't oppose this creation of Turkestan and their inclusion in this nation. Though the local elites may protest such a move, but guaranteeing them a share of power in the new country will silence the vast majority of the potential troublemakers. Um, yeah. And we instantly get 1% more literate population. Social alienation sounds pretty good. Oh, synthetic polymers. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna gr oh shift work. That's real. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna get some better railroads first, and then we'll see what happens. And maybe improve our uh, military score. Ooh, that's some socials. Very nice. Nice, good stuff. Um. Oh yeah, you need some craftsmen. Oh, we actually need to do this as well. Uh, we're at uh, United Baltic Duchy probably. And former Latvian territory. That'd be good. 5% fascist support, huh? Just basically the same amount as anarcho liberals, Turkestan. Well, I mean, we did lose this, but it does serve us better for now. I didn't realize that I actually created a new country there, but that's okay. They're primitives, but that's okay. Hopefully, we can integrate them later on. I don't know if we can or not. We'll see what happens. Because, like I said before, this is my first campaign, literally my first campaign on this channel, uh, with HPM, so. And that did, eh, we, let's focus on this a little bit more first, uh, oh, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Oh, wow, the Turks are, oh, buddy, the Ottomans, mmm, they ain't doing well, and I love it. Uh, come to Lublin, and then, let's see, you got one, two, let's build up nine more guys, one, two, three. Nine. We already have an engineer, so... That should be pretty good. Another group. I love it. Alright. Worry. Oh, do we have enough ships here yet? No, we don't. Fourteen. We need twenty. Shrapnel design standards. Great. 
because the railroads will help produce more capitalists or get more capitalists here. So that'll be good. Uh, oh, that's not good. UK and... Ooh. We got enough of this. Let's double check this. Mm. Nice. Four more. Four more is needed. Ooh. Because we have to come down here and help these guys out too. Come on. Jacobin rebels, whatever. Oh, nice. We just need one more, one more. But you know what? At least we've got a satellite. I always like having satellites in um, Victoria too, because they can just. Oh, they, what happened? Oh my goodness. Universal? Oh, oh my goodness. Look at all these demands. They have open borders. They have debtors' prisons. They even have a 14-hour workday. They're so weak. They lost almost no prestige. The new socialist regime. I called it the Ottoman Empire is dead. Long live Turkey until I take him out. And I can still free the Balkans. Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Montenegro. Oh, I can't wait. I can liberate them there, but I think having Montenegro is a little bigger than Bosnia, Herzegovina is probably better. Yeah, Romania has a few issues. The common man cracked down on the radicals. Yeah, you might as well. Mm. End of the Ottoman dynasty. It's been overthrown. No more monarchies in the Ottoman Empire. What a beautiful thing to see. Cool. Thank you, my friends. Ah, uh, come there. And... Plot. Wow, we're making some serious bank now. I love it. Chaos in there. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to do this. Which means... Actually, you know what? I do want to take out eventually Istanbul. I would love to have Istanbul so much. Uh, you guys, you're doing okay. You got enough transports for now. I still can't build anything bigger, which is fine. Actually, take... Do we have this modifier still on? This is going to be a long video, guys. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. Bureaucrats looking good. No, we don't. That's good. So, from here, what we're going to do is do this. I'll put you right there, because I want a lot of ships right now. I need a lot of transports. Uh, clipper ships, no. Frigates, no. Transports. Just make, like, a ton of ships here. We need a ton of ships. Integral rail system, great. Any other people there? Nope, good. Communist propaganda, crock down on the nonsense. And... Well, I guess I have to manually put them on the ships first. There you go. Oh, they're taking over. Oh, god dang it, come on. Yeah. Oh, wait. Italy went to war with... Why'd you go to war with... Uh, Turkey? What the heck? Oh, Ruthenia's not having good. They're having Slovak. No nationalists. That's not good. Uh, Germany's increasing their power. That's good. Uh, more railroads. Great. Shift work is next. And let's take a good look. Uh, look at all these projects. Great. Build them for me, boys. Even though I'm investing a little bit in yourselves as well. Parliamentary agitation. Push for laissez-faire. Yeah, let's push for laissez-faire. At this point, we want the economy to run as smoothly as possible. Just build those railroads without me having to click on everything. And Admiral's dead. The game to the third Olympiad. Great. Wow, that's a lot of prestige. Holy crap. Nice. 800 prestige. Not enough. That's okay. Just keep building this stuff. Build, build, build. Invest in capitalists. And Italy found Tutankhamun's tomb. Oh, good job, Italy. We have a 19 infamy. A little, a little under 20, which is, you know, it is what it is. God, you know, I love Victoria 2. It's such a fun game. So, so much fun. It's 1904. I'm trying to push time to go ahead a little bit further. Just to see what will happen in the future. Just keep pushing a little bit ahead of time. Because I want to have at least five years for each video minimum. Because we started like late 1904. 19, 1900, I mean. Good, build, build, build. I could manually build it myself, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, you guys are still trying to kill them all around there, which is fine, which is good. And upper house. Oh, okay, cool. Very cool. Uh, what are the British up to? Annexing that part. This cannot be allowed. Yeah, yeah, I know, whatever. Actually, you guys are doing okay over here. Do we have any... Oh, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Great. A great honor for studying for the study of chemistry in our nation. Russian chemistry is some of the best in the world. You better believe it. I'll build this area up. That'd be great. 
Nice, build this up. Oh, level 5 railroads are going to be so nice. Oh, actually, we got... That's probably a few too many guys here. Oh, wait, was I... No, I wasn't building that up area. Nope, cool. Party Westerner is defunct. Slava file is not. Cool. But, you know what, I guess we'll end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. We formed uh, Turkestan, and we're trying to make them stronger and better and better. And we have basically really hurt... <laughs> Turkey really badly. We pieced out with the Austrians so that Italy could get freely, and Germany has formed, and we have some bigger, better allies in the Balkans. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we continue to push on in the 20th century. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.